Going on an adventure always sounds like a great idea, but sometimes we can be shocked along the way. This man with Down syndrome approached a Queen's guard. Then, something astonishing happened. Getting a picture with one of the Queen's guards sounded like a great idea. It had always been a dream of Sam to be a warrior of some sort, but sadly, because of his own circumstances, he couldn't reach those goals. Getting his picture taken next to an elite soldier was a good second choice, but things don't always go according to plan. Planning this trip, Sam was excited to see the Queen's Guard, and now he couldn't believe that he was standing right next to one. He didn't even know that it was even more special than he could have imagined. But then, in a moment, things took a turn, and Sam would be seen running away from the soldier. It was shocking, and Sam never would have expected what happened. Sam and his housemates were already living the dream. They got to live in a house they shared where they got the help they needed when they needed it. That might not sound like a big deal, but for a group of young people who each had intellectual disabilities, this didn't always seem like something they could have. Sam grew up with his brother Jack and often wondered if he would have the same opportunities as his brother. Sam had Down syndrome and as a young child, his family wasn't sure he would ever be able to live an independent life. Some people with Down syndrome have more of a difficult time than others. Sam was able to do a lot of things his brother did. He might never be able to become a soldier, but he was able to get an education. And thanks to some friends and some caretakers, he was going to become a lot more independent very soon. He found out about a shared home close to school where friends would all live together. But the incredible part was that they all had intellectual disabilities. Sam knew a few of the people who would live in the house, and he liked them. It was an awesome chance to move out and live with people who understood his struggles. His younger brother, Jack, had already moved out, and Sam wanted to start his life too. He moved out and into the house he shared with his four friends. It was amazing. They even had support workers who came around to lend a helping hand. These were young people who moved out for the first time. They would need support in the first place. But with their unique challenges, these caretakers made it much easier to get more support. As Sam explained, his support workers helped him with cleaning and shopping. Tongue in cheek, he also said they helped him to get to the ladies. But that might have been a joke, because when he said that, there was already one lady that had caught his eye. He just didn't know how to speak to her yet. He wished more than anything that he could speak to the person he always went to with such things, Jack. But sadly, Jack was far away, and they couldn't communicate like they used to. Jack had enlisted in the army. He had become the warrior that they always dreamt of. But that took him far from Sam. It was sad, but Sam was so proud of his brother. And soon, he would do something that was going to take up a lot of his time. They started a web series about their lives, a show that would come to impact a lot of people. It was called The Specials. And not only did it shed light on the lives of people living with challenges like Down syndrome, but at the same time, it also focused on the unique and individual experiences of the five people living in the house. Sam, with his friends, Hilly, Lucy, Lewis, and Megan, got to have a massive impact on a lot of people. The web series captivated people, and they loved to follow the challenges, but also the triumphs and joys of these young people. The show was so good, it won awards for the cast and crew. They did a bunch of adventures for the show, and each of the housemates got an opportunity to pitch an idea where they could go to have a special day. The outing that Sam pitched was to go to Windsor Castle. He had always wanted to go. Windsor is a special castle that has a history spanning thousands of years. At the time, Queen Elizabeth II was still on the throne, and she loved this castle. It was one of her most treasured properties, and she often spent time there. It has been a fortress and a home for many of the British reigning monarchs. After her death, the Queen was even laid to rest in the King George VI Memorial Chapel in Windsor Castle. She joined her husband, Prince George, and her parents and sister. They were all laid to rest there before her. The castle was not only beautiful, but also packed with history. And, more importantly for Sam, it had a queen's guard that stood all over the castle. He wanted nothing more than to get a picture with one of these elite service members. 
Sam had another reason that he hoped would work out, but he wasn't sure it would, so he didn't even mention it. His idea sounded great for all of his friends too, and it wasn't long before they started the journey to Windsor Castle. Big parts of the estate are open to the public at certain times, and the friends love to explore this stunning property, but they needed help to find all the hidden gems. And then they came across a pair of soldiers called Sergeant Megan Moore and Lieutenant Brander, who would serve as their guides for the grounds. Sam wanted to know if they could watch battles or even interact with some of the soldiers, but that was not happening. The guides warned him that the members of the Queen's Guard were not allowed to interact with the visitors, unless they pose a danger, and then that would not be a good interaction. These elite servicemen are the ones you can see in many attractions all over Britain wearing those iconic fur hats. Sam could take a picture with one of these guys, but the guard would not be allowed to answer any of Sam's questions or speak to him at all, not while he was still on duty. Maybe they could get him an interaction a bit later. They walked along a row of servicemen and the guides offered to take a picture with Sam with one of the sentries. Sam was excited to take the pictures and to show them to his family later. He went to stand next to the guard. He looked great and it was an awesome moment. But Sam didn't know that something shocking would happen just after he was done with taking the picture. All the friends got closer to the guard and then Sam stood next to him to take a picture. The guard stood still, but his hat was pulled over his eyes. You couldn't see much of his face. Sam wondered how those guys work like that. They have to follow a bunch of procedures. Sometimes they even walk in a row, and yet you never see them injure each other and they remain focused. The guards are supposed to keep stoic and not interact with the public, but they are allowed to do a come to attention move. It is one of the only times that they move while on duty. Sam stood next to this tall soldier and he beamed. It was a dream come true. They took the picture and then suddenly the stoic guard moved. He stomped his foot loudly. It could be heard a distance away and the unsuspecting young man next to him got a massive fright. Getting a scare from the loud stomp, Sam ran away. But then he turned back and giggled nervously. It was so funny. The guard once again stood completely still. He had used the perfect moment to tease the young man who wanted to take a picture with him. It was a wild moment. The guards asked Sam if he didn't want to try and look at the guard more closely. Sam went to the guard and stood looking up at him. He was a lot shorter than the guard and it made it easier to check under the fur hat. He wasn't allowed to touch the guard, but there was something familiar about him. Sam looked closely and then suddenly he called out. The young man had tears in his eyes. He knew this sentry of the Queen's Guard. He couldn't believe it. The guard was no one but his own younger brother Jack. Sam knew that Jack might be stationed at Windsor Castle and he silently hoped that he could see him while they were there. He hadn't seen his brother for months. Jack had always been Sam's best friend and they missed each other desperately. Now they were so close to each other, but Sam wasn't allowed to interact with him. He hoped he would get a chance to see his brother off duty. The moment that Jack stamped his foot on the ground was probably the only way his brother could say hi to him. The moment went from a fun moment that a soldier did to a sweet but funny moment from one brother to another. They had to let his brother do his job and they finished the tour. Their two guides told them that they had one more place to show them. It was a part of the grounds that was normally off limits to the rest of the public. They took Sam and the camera to the guards chambers, the rooms where the Queen's guard members lived. They walked through a few rooms and then suddenly Sam's face lit up. He just ran. He had seen his brother and he ran to him. Jack was ready to grab him and he picked his brother up like he was a small kid. Every member of the filming team was in tears at the happy reunion. Even some of the strong soldiers in the room avoided eye contact with each other because they felt very moved. And the next moments would make it even more difficult for everyone. The two men sat together and Jack wanted to know how the tour of Windsor Castle went. Was it fun? Sam agreed that it was wonderful, but then he said something very wholesome. Instead of speaking about the tour, Sam just told his brother how much he missed him every day. It was one of the moments in the show that touched the fans. They loved to see the interaction between the brothers and the special bond they shared. 
the brothers finally had time to spend together. It was everything that Sam could have hoped for. They hadn't seen each other in months, but the moment they were together, everything was back to normal and they fell into their normal, loving relationship. Sam was actually the older brother, but Jack always looked out for him. Sam also came to him for advice, and in those moments, he needed advice more than ever. Sam always joked that he was a player or that he liked all the ladies. He was a bit of a flirt, and that would even create some issues later. But despite all of his big talk, he was really only interested in one girl and he wanted to ask his brother for his advice. He liked a girl, but he would have to be careful. It could be incredibly awkward if things didn't work out as he hoped. He didn't go into too much detail while they were being filmed, but Jack didn't have to know everything. He knew enough. Growing up with Sam, he had seen firsthand the challenges that someone with Down syndrome could face when searching for love. If his brother had a chance at love, he had to go for it. Later in the series, we would find out exactly who Sam was referring to. It was none other than one of the women who lived in the house with him. Megan was one of his best friends. And if he asked her out and they didn't work, it could be seriously awkward in the house. But Megan was also pretty perfect for Sam. She also had Down syndrome and knew the challenges from her own life. She came to live in the house to become more independent but there were still some challenges that she needed the support staff to help her with. One of her challenges was writing. She also needed help with everyday things like using money and working out change. And even in making her bed, they helped to keep her safe and secure. Megan was sweet and funny, and she had a massive crush on Sam. Throughout the episodes of the show, we got to see the relationship build and get stronger. They faced many challenges, as all young couples do but it seemed like they had a special story that would make it. How do we know? Because even now, years later, they update people on their relationship. They shared that they had gotten engaged and were planning their wedding, and recently they posted a picture of them together. It showed that despite all the challenges, love is stronger. Whether that is love between a young couple or love for a brother, and that is the type of thing that will touch your heart. How would you have reacted if the guard had suddenly stomped on the ground next to you? Thanks for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.